Hi guys, we're at the Double Tree. This came Bay Hotel in downtown Miami. I'm gonna show you one of their three bedroom condos. As you come in, you have a bunch of light switches that will turn off and on the lights if you want them on or off. You have your temperature controls, which the battery is presently low. As you come to the right, you have a full kitchen that you can use and eat out of. You have a sink. stove, electric cooktop, you have a coffee pot, a light switch, you have your detergents, your coffees, creamers, sugar, because you can actually wash and dry your clothes in here, a bunch of cabinets, a knife set, cups, bowl, you probably have plates in here too, somewhere, here they are. So you can actually cook and eat in here. There's a closet, nothing much in here. The door doesn't work right, so I'm not gonna open it. You have a phone if you need to use it. A full French refrigerator with ice maker and water. I got this water. Washer. Dryer combo, so you can wash your clothes. It's like a full condo, but it's a hotel room. Your phone, so you can call the front desk. Tonight, the key system's not working for your hand, so you have to call every time you want to use the elevator. Except going to the lobby. Closet for storage. You have a painting here. Or mirror, I should say. Not sure if it's big enough to check yourself out. Before you go downstairs, you have a flower, which is fake, on a little end table. You have one of your three bedrooms here which has a painting on the wall. Let me flip the switch. A little small TV, a couple mixed match lights on the ceiling. I think this is a full size bed. We've got a little drawer, closet for clothes, but this can sleep one person. This is your first of two bathrooms. This is the guest bathroom. It's got a walk-in shower, a flickering light, some cabinets to store stuff, some towels. And when you check in, if you're gonna use the pool here, which is up until 10 o'clock, make sure you get towels from downstairs when you check in. They don't have them at the pool. Another drawer that doesn't work right. That holds your stuff. This is one of your three bedrooms. This is the second one. This has got a queen size bed, I believe. Ooh, some stains on the bed. I don't like that. You can see the furniture is a little nicked and knacked. So it's not in great shape. But I didn't notice those stains. That's not good. A little nicks and knacks everywhere on the furniture. So it's not high quality furniture for a hotel. That's not really good. <laughs> kind of feels like more an Airbnb than a hotel room. That's part of your balcony. We'll go out there in a second. You've got a hers dresser in here to put stuff in if you need to. Part of my stuffy nose. You do have a dining room table. Picture of Marilyn Monroe. Should I go give her a kiss? This artwork of a clock on the wall. I don't know if it's a real clock or not, but it's neat. You have a little chair here to sit and chase. You've got an L-shaped couch that you can sit to watch your TV. You've got two a one end table, coffee table with some stuff in the bowl. You've got a picture fr mirror frame that faces the TV. You've got a TV stand. I don't think there's anything in here. Let's open and check. Nope. You have a Roku remote, which is what you will use if you open or change the channels. You have your XR2 TV remote, your receipt, your cable box which I don't think that's the right box for a main TV. Your XB3, how old? <laughs> really old cable modem. But it's interesting that they actually give you a cable modem. 
You've got a big TV, probably 65 inches on the wall, here to watch your TV if you choose. You have a nice plant to look at. Before you go into the bedroom here, this is the master bedroom. One thing to note, it doesn't lock, so no privacy. But you have a king size bed, a chair to sit on, more balcony access. Just wanna check that, I'm gonna make sure there's no bugs. A chair to sit in, plants, they're fake of course. An end table with a lamp. Another TV here, probably a 47 inch. Some drawers for clothes. This furniture in here is a little this knick-knacked, but, oh, but wow, that's not good. That's a problem. Your alarm clock, another lamp, another phone, some switches there, don't know what they do. Painting on top of the bed. There is a king size bed. It's very comfortable to me, it seems. Um, I haven't laid on it, but it's very soft. You have an office desk, chair, a mirror to look at while you're doing your office work. Another end table. <laughs> this one isn't broken. You have a locked door here. I don't know what it goes to, but you can't get in. You'll have a little closet here. Walk in to put your stuff. And the biggest feature of the room, you have a master bathroom with a soaking tub. Painting on the wall, a bunch of extra towels if you need them, a toilet, a cabinet here to hold your stuff, a shower as you walk in with a handheld rainfall head, some soap water, and it looks like big enough to hold two so couples can shower together. One thing to note with this, it's dangerous, it's sharp. Those things need to be replaced. It's a floating vanity that needs to be fixed. Another hand towel, another fake plant, some bath soap tissues. I like how they set up the tissues. And before we end the video and it times out in eight minutes, let me show you the balcony that you get from this room. Marshall City and a Marshall Bay view from this mountain. And look, and it's the boat police. This is a view outside the balcony. We are on the 14th floor. We are on the 14th floor. This is room number 1435. Take care.